Hi, welcome to In the Playroom Applique. We're doing a series of applique as part of our 2020 Tasty Treats and this series is called In the Playroom. So we're doing lots of things you might find in the playroom, piggy banks, pull-along toys, dolls' houses, hobby horses. There's a picture here of all the 20 different ones that we're doing. There's a pattern that you can purchase on gourmetquilter.com and if you have the pattern coming, so each day we're doing a new applique with a new pattern for that applique. So this is, we're up to applique number seven now out of the 20, so we're having a lot of fun. This is the sort of thing you might receive if you've uh, purchased the pattern. You have a downloadable pattern, you can print it out and it's got all the shapes on it for you ready to trace for the applique. And I'm just here to show you how it's all gone together. So what I've got here this time is, is number seven, as I said, and here's a fun little robot. So I've just started positioning things. I'm doing fused raw edge applique. So nothing's ironed in place yet. Everything's just sitting. I like to sit everything before I iron it so that I, sometimes you have to make a little adjustment and move things. Some things have to sit underneath others. So all the pieces on the pattern are numbered. So the lower the number, the more likely it is to need to sit underneath another shape. Um, the other thing too, with something like this when he's a quite a symmetrical design, I have done a little finger press line in the background just to give me a centre line to line him up with. Um, other than that, it's really just a matter of popping these little shapes on. These are his little hands. Not that he can do a lot when he's got little round hands like this, but you never know. He's kind of cute. Um, he's got um, some ears, they've got to sit in behind, coming out of his head. Nice to think that robots can hear you. So all these appliques in this series are, are toys or toy type of things, because they're the sort of thing you might find in a playroom. So he's got a little neck, that was just a little piece that just connects there and also the little pieces that connect to his arms at the shoulders and then he's got quite a square looking face he's got a little mouth here and he has a little nose he's a lucky guy this little one and some eyes cute And then, oh, on his front here, he's got a couple of pieces sitting on here. So he's, he's quite a, a busy little applique. There's lots going on. Because I'm doing free motion stitching, it's quite quick and easy to sort of go from one shape to another. And then he's got these little antenna things that are coming out of the top of his head here. Something like that. So it's really just a matter of getting everything in place, which we can do. These fusible products that we have available to us these days are just amazing. But they do all need to be stitched as well as um, fused on. Or you probably can get some that don't need stitching, but I'm using ones that need stitching. Let's get that coming out more symmetrically if I can. There, I think he's looking pretty good. So I haven't ironed anything yet, but I'm about to iron him. So I think that's quite a fun little robot of its type. Robots these days are just a little more advanced than this, I think. However, this is a playroom robot. So I get all that ironed in place. And because I'm doing free motion stitching, I'm going to need a stabiliser, so I'm just using a lightweight cotton batting as a stabiliser. So I just iron that to it. It's not fusible, but the cotton grips to the cotton fabric. Um, I'm using a batik cloth for all the applique, so it's really good for this sort of fused raw edge applique because it doesn't fray as much as some other cottons can do. And with the fusible as well, it sits really nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing some of the stitching now. So I think I might come up around the head and do some of these little twiddly bits here because they're a little bit busy to do, just so that you can see. Otherwise, I think some of the shapes, there's a few shapes, but they're really quite straightforward. So we'll come up 
We might just come up around his ear here and onto one of those red things pretty soon. Go straight onto the head there and come around. And just go a little bit past the antenna and then come back onto it so that I've got a nice line to come back to. And then just taking it slowly, you can just stitch amazingly intricate shapes by doing this free motion stitching. And because it's fused on, it's all just ready for us to stitch. So now I can skip back onto the head there and I can continue on oops, to the next one and do the next antenna and then continue on a lot of these little shapes I'll have to do separately because they're not connecting up but it's really very straightforward same sort of applique okay, so just pass the antenna and then we'll go around this one as well so it's really just a matter of taking it slowly when it's little intricate shapes like this done both of these tricky little antennae. And then back onto the head and then we can continue on around now. So when I come to something like the ear here I'm going to go past the ear, just past, and then come back onto it. And then back onto that stitching and follow that down again and then continue on around. So I'll continue on now and show you when I get to the other end. So I've been going all the way around him. I've done most things. I've just got this last arm to do. So I'm just going to come up here, come out and do his little joint and then around. Come back and do these little hands. close to being done. So back up here. Arm joint and then back round. So I've been all the way around from his neck. Just got to go across here and back and do that little bit of neck there and finish off. So I did all his face and things separately and then I started at the neck here and I came all the way around and I went round his arm and round his leg and round his other leg without having to stop and start again other than all these little separate pieces on him. So that's worked out really well. So I think he's looking pretty good, oh, Mr. Robot. So that was applique number seven in a series of 20 for In the Playroom. So we'll put him up here with all these other wonderful things in this playroom. Oh, I think I'd like to be in this little playroom. And I will see you again with applique number eight in the playroom.